For this tip, we're going to take a look at two different ways to display a graphic in the CAD file at a given elevation. It's a common question that comes up, so we'll take a look at that. A simple way is to simply display contours. What we have here is a sedimentation basin, and I've got five foot contours displayed. But the scenario is maybe I want to uh, display a graphic at elevation um, 803.5 or whatever that elevation happens to be. So if I go to view my surface contours, um, an easy solution is just come in here and make the uh, desired elevation your contour interval. So when I go ahead and hit apply, um, I've got pencil lock on so refresh my display, but now I have a contour here at elevation 803.5. And it also displays any other contours at that 803.5, even if my intent was uh, just to display within that said basin. Now the other way to do that is with the hydrology and hydraulic commands. It gives me a little bit more of a dynamic display. So let me just um, undo here a couple times to get back that original display. So if I want to do something similar to what I just did, I have to, number one, activate the hydrology tools. So go up to Tools, Application Add-ins. This is additional functionality you can add to the Inroads interface. And if I turn on this hydrology and hydraulics, you can see it's going to fall, um, show up in the evaluation category or the pull down menu. So if I go up to evaluation, now I have hydrology and hydraulics. And the command we're looking for is this pass through contours. If I select that command, define the surface and dynamics that I want to work with. And as I move my cursor, I can see those dynamics on where those contours would, would uh, um, be created. Also it tracks the elevation that I'm at. Now if I want to leave one in my drawing you can simply data point and you're going to get it at whatever the elevation is you're at at that time. Or if you want a specified elevation you can use your key in browser. And if I uh, pop this up I can key in the elevation I want, hit enter, and it's going to draw a line at that particular elevation. And now that's 803.5 all the way around my drawing. And because it wasn't a view contour command, I don't have to worry about my pen pencil lock and have it erase my previous contour display. That's it for this tip. Thank you for watching.